All right, guys, we're back again today. What we're going to do is we're going to make uh, some old catacombs, and I'm going to show you how I make the make those. Uh, first off, we're going to make a four by eight by two foot uh, rectangle. Then we're going to skin it, and uh, I'll show you how we're going to do all that. We're making it up as we go. I got my buddy with me today. He's going to help me with it. So we're making it up as we go because we've never done it before. We can't find nothing to how to make one. So we're just going to make it up. And uh, then if it's something y'all can use, then that'd be great. So we're going to show you how to do that.
So I'm gonna kind of head call me look. That not look too bad. So now we have, so we just set the body in there. See, this whole sheet will go up against that. Yeah. And then we'll have two bodies, one in here, because you're not gonna. You really don't want to see the full body, but you want to see most of it, the bones and the rot and the corpse and... Yeah, the lower one you probably want more of because you'll be looking down into it. Yeah. So, we'll figure it out. Yeah. So with that being said, we might have to put a piece of board on that bottom now that you said it because we'll be looking down on it. Yeah. But, uh, that's fine, we'll figure it out. Yeah, you can cut this out and see what we got. six feet and under if you're abnormal like me or Keith we're, yes. we're six three and above but this will hold a, a skeleton you can see a skeleton inside corpse and all that stuff so I think, I think it'll be fine we'll keep that for the next one and before I screw that on I'm gonna cut that one down and put it in there before yeah we get too ahead of ourselves I'm like oh crap
this concludes this video. Uh, we just got it built today and uh, we still need to paint these. We need to add some texture to it. So I'm going to paint them black. Now I might end up putting uh, spray foam on the outsides. I just want a little bit of texture on it. Then we can go back through and paint it all black. Then we'll take and uh, put some uh, dry brush marks in it and stuff. Try to get to look old. The good thing about these guys, you build it, you build it in sections like this. Not only is it easy to move, but if you decide, like, here's the problem I'm running into now. I'm six foot three, six foot four with my boots on. I can't see what's in the top of this. So you can also make a three high and uh, do it that way. Or what I'm thinking about doing is making this just too high putting that one down that end and at the top of this because I'm going to make a wall of skulls so I might end up throwing that on the top of this so that's kind of my thinking I don't know sometimes I, I build this stuff as I go because I really have no plans I have nothing I have nothing to go by but just my crazy brain but anyway that's what we got guys we got four catacombs and uh, that's how it's going to look for now Next video, I'll go over and we'll put some uh, detail in it. We'll get it painted, throw a body in it, and see what it looks like. So, shouldn't be too bad. I'm 217 pounds with my clothes on. So, I hope this holds me. It don't sound too good. So as you see guys, I'm six foot and there's plenty enough room for a scare actor to get into it. So th that's why I, I want to be able to put a couple scare actors in here to look like they're dead with, along with the uh, other dead stuff. It's not the easiest for my big butt to get in a nap, but somebody small is great. So there's my catacombs guys. Like I said, we're going to do some detail on it. And uh, I'll do a video on that, show you how I'm going to do that. Anyway, guys, we hope you like this kind of content. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. And as always, it don't have to be perfect. Just build it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.